typhoid. Typhoid is the fifth most common infectious and communicable disease of India. It is also known as enteric fever, typhoid fever, gastric fever, abdominal typhus, infantile intermittent fever, slow fever, nervous fever, or pathogenic fever. Typhoid is an acute febrile disease caused by a bacteria. In 1826, typhoid was discovered by Pierre Fidel Bretonneau, while in 1829, Louis coined the term typhoid. It occurs in all parts of the world, and in India where water supplies and sanitation is substandard. Typhoid is predominantly food and waterborne disease. It is common in children of one year, to 15 years of age group. When research was done, it was found that more cases of typhoid are seen in males than females, while carrier rate is more in females than in males. In world, 16 million typhoid cases occur every year, of which 600,000 deaths occur mostly in developing countries. Of which, about 2.5 million of people suffer from typhoid per year in India. Now let's know about the causative agent of typhoid. Typhoid is caused by a gram-negative, enteric bacteria. Enteric bacteria are those which can affect mainly the intestines. This bacteria is known as Salmonella typhi. While the shape of bacteria is oval or rod-shaped, their length is 2 to 4 microns, and width is about 0.5 to 0.8 microns. These bacteria are motile, and multiflagellate bacteria with peritreous flagella which means these bacteria have tail-like projections, all over their surface. As these bacteria are enteric, they are mainly found in the intestine of an infected man. Before moving further, let's know what is pathogenicity. Pathogenicity is the ability of an organism to enter the host and cause disease. This pathogenicity is due to outer membrane of bacterium. This outer membrane is made up of lipopolysaccharides, which protects the bacterium from external environment. The lipopolysaccharide is made up of an antigen, a polysaccharide, and a lipid. The lipid A gets connected to fatty acids. Phosphate groups are also attached to this fatty acid, which determines their toxicity. And the O antigen makes it difficult for antibodies of host cells to recognize the bacteria. Typhoid gets transmitted through contaminated food and water, by fecal oral route, or urine oral route. Transmission also occurs through carriers like water, food, milk, green vegetables, and through vectors like house flies and shellfish. Symptoms of typhoid Typhoid is characterized by classic typhoid fever. The temperature slowly increases each day, up to second week, and then gradually declines during third and fourth week. The fever usually rises in the afternoon. There are also some other common symptoms of typhoid. These include sweating, leukopenia, loss of appetite, joint and muscle pain, stomach ache, chills, malaise, dry tongue, enlarged spleen, round ulcers and intestine rashes on chest and abdomen, nausea, bradycardia, and epistaxis. In severe cases, some other illness develops, like pneumonia, bronchitis, and meningitis. There can be measures taken to prevent typhoid. People should follow proper sanitation, personal cleanliness, and community hygiene. Purification of drinking water should be done. Drinking water and milk should be boiled before consuming. Washing of hand is prescribed before eating, and after using toilet. Also chronic carriers of typhoid should be prevented from working. Vaccination is also a preventive measure. Thyroid parathyroid A and B vaccine, gives protection against typhoid for about three years. An oral vaccine typhoid is useful for typhoid prevention. The two vaccines recommended by WHO, World Health Organization, are, first, a live oral, TI-21A vaccine, and second, an injectable typhoid polysaccharide vaccine. If a person is infected, 
The diagnosis is done using tests. As the typhoid pathogens are found in blood of infected patient, during first two weeks, and in feces, and urine after two weeks, a specific test, known as the Vidal test, is done to confirm the diagnosis. After a typhoid diagnosis is confirmed, treatment is started. The standard drug used against typhoid is chloramphenicol. Some bacteria are resistant to chloramphenicol. In such cases, trimethoprine, sulfamethoxazole, and quinone drugs are used. Chloromyosetin, amphicillin, ketramaxili, and ciprofloxacin, are some other drugs used to cure typhoid. In serious cases, hydrocortisone is given to the victim.